Hey, uh, welcome to today's ride. So we are 45 minutes today, tempo training. Uh, we're on a flat road, just for the warm up. And then we've got a lovely ramp. 32 minutes of climbing, and then a quick descent for your cool down. So today I'm on an indoor bike. Not using power, just using my heart rate as a guide. Let's just check that you're nice and comfortable before we start. So hands nice and soft onto the handlebars. Little bit of resistance pushing back through the feet. Fairly high leg speed. To get those legs nice and warm. So four minutes of warm up and then we're going to jump straight into slight little ramp up before we hit the climb proper as always numbers are over on this side of the screen to help you along heart rate guidance FTP numbers if you're using those too or just how it should feel so nice and easy does it here folks just warming the legs through, ready for the effort ahead. So once we jump onto that climb today, it's going to get increasingly harder. Two choices, we're going to be doing this climb at intervals. If you want to stick in tempo zone all the way, that's absolutely great and I'll be giving you guidance on that. It's fairly challenging. Squeezing on a little bit more resistance. If you want to on the off phase, so not the effort, if you want to take it as a more of a, an aerobic interval class or workout, then you can drop the resistance right down, get some full recovery and then jump back in. Otherwise we're going to stick in level three tempo zone all the way up the climb. On the effort, you've got two choices again, lots of choices. Either stay seated for the entire climb, or if you want to go standing on the effort, load on that extra gear, load on the extra effort, and do some standing. I'm going to do some standing today as I'm on an indoor bike. If you're a turbo trainer and you want to take that effort, the standing effort, you're going to need, need to load on a fair amount of gear if you want to do some standing on the climb. So just beware if you do that, your heart rate's going to go up, up, up. So you might be pushing the same amount of power, but your heart rate's going to go up. Standing, you're obviously using more muscle groups for stability why your heart rate tends to go up. So almost done with our little bit of flat road. It's all you're going to see today, a flat road. Climbing. And then we've got a cheeky descent for our cool down. Nice big deep breaths. Keep it going. So we're just starting to do the climb. So as we slow the legs a little bit, a little bit more resistance, check out the effort numbers there, checking your heart rate, 65% max heart rate, right here. If you take a little bit longer to warm up, then this is your option here, so just keep with the warm up, maybe a faster leg speed. Either way up, let's have some fun today. <laughs> Make sure you've got something to drink. Towel if you need it also. So we're not at beasting it level today. Building your aerobic endurance. Aerobic strength. As we get further up the climb, we might drop the leg speed just a little bit. 
start building the strength in those muscles. In about 40 seconds or thereabouts. We're going to stay seated for this track here, but we're going to add a little bit more gear. Sticking with it. Nice big deep breaths. Do you know the drill? In through the nose, out through the back. Shoulders relaxed. Driving through the feet. Foot nice and neutral at the bottom of the stroke. Are we ready to switch it up a little bit? And load. Keep it nice and smooth on those pedals. We're going to hold it here. Right about three minutes. Keeping it aerobic all the way through the entire workout today. Well below threshold. Now clearly, this class has been designed as a tempo climb, an aerobic climb. Up to you if you want to stick to those numbers. Or do you maybe want to mess around with the numbers a little bit? Go into full recovery on the off phases. And go a little bit beastie mode on the interval phase. Feeling good here. Warming up. Maybe feeling a little bit of an increase in that heart rate. But definitely not in trouble. Shouldn't be in trouble at all today on this climb. Lots of fun to be had. So next track, we're going to be continuing in zone two, aerobic endurance. Make sure those legs are ready and willing, or maybe not, <laughs> to hit that climb. Keep it going here, folks. Looking good. Just drop a little bit. Dropping it back. Squeeze it back to where you were before. And I'm going to squeeze it up just a little smidge again. Now on this track here, if you want to start to do some standing on the efforts, I'm going to give you those options too. Or we're going to stay seated. Up to you. Your workout, not mine. I'm just here to bring you a bit of light relief. <laughs> or maybe not. Holding it there, team. Keeping it relaxed. Little check-in. Knees nice and tracking in line with our feet. Bum bones nice and supported. On that seat. So first little effort change. Coming in. Again, watch the numbers on the screen here. And there's a graphic along the bottom there. It's going to show you where we are in the workout. So you're going to be rubbing your little hands in glee, seeing how much you've done. Squeeze it on, a minute and a half. Holding it here. Standing options coming very shortly. Feeling that rhythm. So my leg speed's kind of going with the tempo of the music. Up to you if you favor a leg speed that's a little bit higher, no problem. Or do you want to go a little bit slower? Minimum leg speed, 60 RPM. You don't want to be overstressing those knees. Quick check in with the heart rate. Looking good. Feeling that rhythm, helping you up the slope. If you want to go climbing, up you go. Want to stand. Let's have a little cheeky standing. 
So if you're not used to climbing on your bike, and you just want to practice getting out of the saddle, here's a good place to practice. It's all about core strength, core balance. It does feel slightly different to being on your road bike because you haven't got, kind of got that sway as you go. Back we go, drop it off. So if you're tracking your heart rate, you'll notice it'll definitely go up if you stand. Are you ready for that lovely climb that's coming? Breathe it down. How are you doing out there today? Why are you feeling strong? It's feeling good. Ready for this lovely effort ahead. Squeeze it back on. A little bit of extra pressure in the legs. So we're not, if we're doing this at tempo or at the right kind of levels today, we're not looking at massive gear changes or massive changes in intensity. It's a little bit of, a little bit up, a little bit down, a little bit up, a little bit. You'll feel a little bit of extra pressure and uncomfortableness maybe in your legs but not so much that it's a huge change not a big range so as I said if you want to do these standing little standing efforts and you're on a turbo you're going to find you're going to need to load up a fair amount of extra gear so you can drive into it a little bit smoother on an indoor bike because you've got the flywheel to help you. So it kind of smooths that out. Another little standing effort, gonna come in here if you want it. Or you can just continue where you are. Keep it relaxed, barely any weight on the hands. All about the legs. If you're standing on an indoor bike, butt cheeks should be just about kissing the saddle on the downstroke. Don't go too far forwards. Keep the bum back, little angle, other hips. Are you ready for our tempo climb? About to begin. And breathe and drop. So sticking with a similar resistance. That heart rate come back down if you're in standing. Keeping the tension out the shoulders. Don't try this on a road bike. <laughs> Doesn't end well. So we've got a little quick transition coming up. Just over a minute, we're gonna drop in that extra gear. So if you're tracking your heart rate, you should be 70% here, 73% on the effort. So you can see there, not a lot of difference. Tracking FTP, we're jumping between 75% here, up to 77% on the effort. Bringing the heart rate under control. So this should feel pretty easy right here. No stress going on. Everything's good with the world. We're right at the bottom end of your tempo zone, low zone three. Going in about 10 seconds. So options, stay seated, load, go standing and load. Are we ready, team? Watch the numbers. Squeeze it on. 15 seconds, short little transition. Feel that extra power. Feel the extra pressure. Get used to it. 
and release. What we're going to do all the way up this climb. So the reason it's going to get harder is because this is your recovery phase, the off phase, right at the bottom end of tempo. This is as easy as it's going to get. And then as we progress through the climb, the on phase or the effort part of the interval, we're going to be squeezing on and making it a little bit harder. Every time we do the interval, we're going to go up and down, up and down, up and down. And it's just going to get harder as we go. Whose legs are crying already? <laughs> Not looking forward to that. Remembering this should feel okay here. Not a mega amount of stress, going in about 20 seconds. If you were doing this out on the road, easily doable. You could hold this effort for many, many hours in tempo zone. As we get towards the end of the climb, we're going to be dropping in some little sweet spot efforts and squeeze. One minute, feeling that extra pressure through the legs. So you are going to get some sweet spot riding in towards the end of the climb. But tempo all the way. Again, if you're struggling just a little bit, after the effort phase, drop the gear even more, drop down, maybe into low, um, back down into level two, zone two. Keeping it aerobic all the way. The legs shouldn't be screaming at you today. I mean, squawking just a little bit towards the end with that continual effort because we're not going into deep, deep recovery. And release. 30 seconds recovery. Ready to go back to where you were. So you're using gears on your bike. Maybe you want to still be in a small ring here. Just one gear up, one gear down. And then maybe change that. As we get deeper into the climb. And on. Change it up to the big ring maybe. To feel that extra pressure. Anybody being hardcore and doing all of these harder efforts standing? Good luck with that heart rate. <laughs> Hold it here for another minute. Quick check in to keep those shoulders back. Keeping the tension out. Nice and smooth on the stroke. Easy with the breathing. Just over 30 seconds to go. And then we're going to drop back down to that base. So we're just going to take off a little smidge, not a lot. And then we're going to ramp this. Next track's going to get a little bit harder as we go. Shouldn't be one of those really, really sweaty classes today. And drop it back down. One minute. So at 70, max heart rate or 75% FTP. Should feel really comfortable, especially if you're used to doing some really beasty, beasty, beasty workouts. It's gonna feel fairly comfortable. Please don't write this level of training off. Really important to build that aerobic base. Great kind of workout to do. You're not feeling absolute on your best best. Still challenging, but we're not going anaerobic. 
about 10 seconds. So this time I'm going to squeeze a little bit more on. You see the numbers there going up. Ready to go. Unload. Minute of effort. So what kind of leg speed are you at? Now I, I haven't got a cadence meter or anything to, I'm just going completely on feel, maybe a little bit of heart rate today. Not a lot to help me out. And I pretty much know my climbing leg speed without even looking at a cadence meter, without looking at my RPM. My legs just settle into that rhythm. And your rhythm could be different to mine. Which is why I don't normally prescribe an exact RPM. You may want to do this with a little bit extra leg speed, that's no problem. I'm just going to release the gear very shortly. Let's drop that down for a minute. So the effort level is going up. It's gonna sneak up on you towards the end. Sweat level, not mega high today. Towards the end, it's gonna get a little bit cheeky. But here you should be definitely in control all good. Going in 15 seconds. Are we ready? 30 seconds. Squeeze it on. Of course you can stand here, remember? Light on the hands, heavy on the feet. And back, release. What kind of climber are you? On the road. Seated climb? Standing climber? Bit of both? Depends how the bottom's feeling. 20 kilometers into a climb, might want to just stand up, give it a little bit of break, and load. It's an art standing climbing. There's an absolute poetry motion if you see someone doing it really, really well. I use it a little bit, especially to power over a little blip. And release. It's a little rise coming up. It's good to put in a little bit of extra power to take you over the top. 30 seconds recovery. How are we doing here? Very chill today. So I've not used this bike before. Not used, it's a brand new setup. I've just, this is a, a mate's gym I've just borrowed. I've not, not used this bike, load it up. And so this is new territory for me. Doesn't really matter what kind of setup you're using at all, as long as you can just pedal. I've got, my, I've got my Garmin here that I'm using, but I'm really pretty much just using that for the timings, so I can use my pace notes. But actually, I'm just completely going on feel, just making a quick glance at my heart rate, but not much. 20 seconds, 
and then we're going to drop it back down to that base, bottom end of tempo. The next one that kicks in is a little bit harder on the effort. In fact, my heart rate is absolutely 30 seconds, release it off, spot on. Now, if you want to just up the tempo a little bit here, just flushing the legs out. Bring it back. Are we ready for the first step? At this time, loading a bit more gear. We're a little bit higher up, 85% FTP, 77% load. Let's get that effort in. Gonna go a bit heavier. Hold it there. And back down, release. Try not to drop too much gear if you're sticking to tempo. So count the amount of gears you're using on your bike or check the amount of resistance you're going up and back. Great ride. If you're trying to build that base, Aerobic fitness. And if you've had a hard week of training maybe, this is, this is not a wasted workout, it's a great workout. If I uh, had a ride planned but wasn't feeling like absolute tip top and didn't want to do much harder effort, this is where I would stick. You're ready to go. In 10 seconds. Let the music lift you up. Are you going to stand? A minute of effort. Oh no, 30 seconds, I'll lie. Let's go. Light on the hands, folks. Seated or standing, always light on the hands. Keeping the tension out of the shoulders. seat. Lovely. Back down to that base number. Keep the fluids going. So same level for this track, for that intensity. Last two tracks, it's going to go higher. First effort's coming. Get ready on those gears. You wanna stand, you're gonna stay seated. Our plat level. Off we go. Feel that extra pressure. Definitely getting a little bit warmer. Hold it there. Ah, recover. Starting to feel the heart rate. Bang a little bit harder in the chest. So heart rate's a little bit more unpredictable than using your FTP numbers because your heart rate's affected by a lot of things, but you tend to get a little bit of heart rate lag. So it might still go up even though you've finished the effort. Are we ready to go? 
Start to load. Let's go. So if you're standing, you're on indoor bike maybe. Not too high up, not too low forwards. Kind of Goldilocks in between. On the bum shifted back, and you'll feel the quad start to really activate. Hold it there. All the way. Keep going. Keep going. All good with the world. Take a seat. Page two. And release the gear. Last two tracks coming. Bout seven minutes maybe. Left of the climb. So the last two tracks, we're sticking to tempo, we're bottom end, 75% FTP, 70% heart rate. And then going up to the top, 89% FTP, 80% heart rate. First effort's gonna drop in. You'll need more gear this time. Keep the control. Start to load. Should feel uncomfortable. Lovely. Minute of effort. So you can adjust the gears as you go. If you've been a bit over enthusiastic and put too much on, and the legs have kind of gone, oh, and grind to a halt, take a little bit off. If you're not feeling a discernible difference between that off phase and the on phase, put some more gear on, resistance, fun, <laughs> levels of fun. That's where we're at. So I'm gonna squeeze a little bit more. Kind of feed her hard I'm working. And release. Shortish transition, 30 seconds for the off phase. Not too easy. Still pressure in the feet. So let's make these count. And if you're not looking at any numbers, just go on feel. How do you feel? That's really easy. We don't want really easy. Easy-ish. Okay-ish. Ready to go again. And load. Two minutes, 17 of effort. So when your breathing's gonna get a bit heavier, maybe starting to feel your heart banging in your chest. A little bit more effort. Want that heart rate to go just a little bit more. Not so much gear or intensity or resistance that you feel the lactate dump into the legs. Kind of be a mild sort of four. Almost to the point where you've got to really think about your pedaling technique rather than grabbing the pedal as it comes over the top and stamping to the bottom, start to feed that effort and power in on the stroke. About 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock to the top, then smooth as you go, all the way around to about four or five o'clock, when the other leg will take over. Smooth transfer of power between the legs. About 50 seconds to go. Could 
quick check in how you feel. Still able to nasal breathe all the way through. Lovely. Hold it here. Are you smiling today? Smiling, Chris, because this is this is lovely. Nice little run out on the bike. Not dying. Working. But not dying. All good. Almost there. Okay, minute recovery. Into the last effort. Last track. Let's do this. So what have you done with your leg speed today? Have you stayed pretty smooth all the way through? Steady old leg speed? Have you decided that on the efforts maybe you're gonna change it up? A little bit more leg speed? Or maybe the opposite way around? Slower on the efforts. And quicker on the recovery. Okay, last effort is coming up. Very short, we're nearly there. Almost there. Get ready with that resistance. Get ready with the gear. One last time. And load. 52 seconds. There is the top. Tantalizingly close. Dig in. Yes. I'm going to stick here and then for about the last 20 seconds I'm going to stand. Push it to the top because I'm going to get to the top quicker. Coffee stop. Let's go. Go and load some more. Keep going. Keep the form. Keep it smooth. And we are done. How's that heart rate? Did you keep it under control? Or did you get a little bit enthusiastic? <laughs> Let's cool down. Well done, everybody. Did we all make it to the top? Did we drop anybody? Oh, no. Everybody's there. Nice one. So dropping that gear, just enough for you to push against. Nice and fluid. Did you need your towel today? Big puddle on the floor. Should be puddlet kind of stage. Unless you decided to switch that up, of course, which is absolutely fine. You can use the rhythm, use those intervals that are planned and set your own level of intensity as you go. You don't need to do it exactly the same every time. I feel good after that. My, my body's feeling very happy. Giving it a nice cuddle. So making sure you're bringing that breathing under control. All the control coming back. Keeping the legs moving. Don't dip out on the cool down. Keep it going. Heart rate's coming down. Just going to give a little bit of relaxation here. Soft onto the hands. Close the eyes. Big deep breath into the nose for four. Hold for one. Exhale from the mat. Repeat two more times.
and your heart rate will drop off that proverbial cliff. Feeling good. Four more minutes. So important we do the cool down. Cool downs for these workouts, fairly short. If you want to do a longer cool down, keep your legs moving, that's great. When I'm doing these workouts on my own, I tend to double the length of those cool down times. Right about 15 to 20 minutes. I do a lot of riding, a lot of instructing, and I don't want that heaviness in my legs the next day. I'm doing a good long cool down will really help with that. Heart rate's dropping right, right now. Good to change up and change around the levels of intensity that you're working at. No, it's a, we think they need to be absolutely beasting it. Yeah. The risk of overtraining if you go too enthusiastic. Train smart. How did you find the class today? How did you like that workout? If you've not subscribed to the channel yet, please do subscribe in there. If you've got any comments or questions, please do leave them below. More of a description on the benefits of training at this intensity, also found in the description below. Take a quick look there. And I mentioned we did a little bit of sweet spot effort towards the back end of that workout. If you want to know a little bit more about sweet spot, head on over to the Tell Me playlist. And there's a five minute little intro and background to sweet spot training. What it is, how you do it, why you do it. Five minutes out of your life, you might learn something. Just over a minute to go. Full recovery, should be back by now. All very chills. Love. With light resistance on your bike here, just make sure you are pushing against the pedals and you're keeping that nice smooth stroke all the way around. We call it pedaling circles, not pedaling squares. If you've not got enough resistance or gear on your bike and you're pushing really hard from the top of the stroke to the bottom, you find your bottom my bounce. And you can counteract that by using the back of the stroke, so from six o'clock up to 11 o'clock. Pull the foot up and your bum will stick like glue to the saddle. And it will look nice and smooth, totally effortless. Almost there, team. Very, very close to the finish. And there we go. Thank you very much for watching today. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time.